Hello, how's it going everyone? Welcome back once again to the Project Ozone 2. The final days here guys, we are we are whittling away at this achievement book. So I got a bunch of stuff ready for the episode. Oh, so much to do. <laughs> uh, this is where things are getting grindy I'm finding now. Uh, the, we pretty much breezed through the whole pack, honestly. Like, I didn't find anything super grindy, but these last these last few episodes, ooh, they've been tricky, but we we will get there, guys. So, first thing to start us off with here, I got the stuff together for the creative tank. We're going to make our first creative item here. Uh, in order to, to do this, we're going to need six chaos ingots, which is 90 of these chaos catalysts. I've been getting a bunch of those ready here as well. So let's let's craft them up here. I I checked it out. Oh, are we gonna have trouble? It might take a long time to do actually. Yeah, I think it's gonna take a long time to do. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right, it's just about done here. Uh, this has kind of shown me like I need to get better at making ME systems too in the future here. I feel that's one of my shortcomings with this series. I just made like a tiny one at first and I should have like tore it down and, and made a better one. Uh, but like even, I don't know how to do multi-crafting actually now that I think of it. Like all those cores are only being made in this molecular assembler. And even though it's speed upgraded, it doesn't really matter because it has to make thousands of them and it takes a long time, right? But like if I just take this recipe and duplicate it and put it in another one of these, it's just going to create a conflict, right? It's not going to get it to craft it in another one. So I don't know how to do multi-crafting now that I think of it. <laughs> uh-huh. Nuts. Like, Kappa Mode's all about being an expert, right? And I'm not quite an expert, even though I'm at the end of the pack here, I feel. Uh-huh. Anyways, we got the six chaos ingots. What I was about to say before, by the way, I added it up, and I think in total you need 41 of these Chaos Ingots to, to do all the quests. So we made, we spent 10 to get the Sword of the Cosmos, this thing over here. And now we're going to spend another 6 to get the, our first creative item. And then we're going to need another 25 after this. So 41 total, I think. Anyways, I've never used one of these before. I don't quite understand how it works. I think if you put a liquid in, then it just has infinite of it, right? Uh, so let's head over maybe to the farm? Yeah. The main thing I want to use this on is the whole... We want to get rid of this experience lag machine, right? So there was some thunder outside. I got distracted for a second. <laughs> I didn't know there was a storm until just now. Um, yeah, let's let's try to use this instead, right? So if we put this here, we'll grab a bucket, right? Bucket and Texas, you're in the way again. Oh, okay. So we'll turn it into an essence creative tank, right? Yeah. So it just fills up infinitely, right? So check this out. I guess you can't break the tank at all. Like after you place it. Nuh-uh. <laughs> it's there to stay, right? But you can wrench it. So that's good. Uh, if you go like this, it doesn't clear it. So if you want to change the liquids, you got to do something like this. Yeah. So it just changes it entirely. I don't think you can make it empty ever again, though, after you fill it. Which is kind of interesting. Uh, let's, let's head down here. I want to shut off the lag machine. Boo! And let's just see if our number is dropping or, or raising or what's happening here. It is dropping. <laughs> no! You're not supposed to do that. Oh yeah, this is empty. It doesn't seem like this is pumping into there for some reason. Like, it's totally empty. Uh, what if we do another connection over here? It's infinite, but we're limited on how quick we can pump stuff out, right? Maybe a Tesseract would pump it infinitely as well. Because the Tesseract will do infinite energy. How about now? Still dropping. Oh, boy. Um, well, another option. Problem is, we kind of need the liquid in this tank as well, because we're using it in other places. But I think we could probably just do it like this. 
then wrench it, right? Yeah, now it's filling up. Okay, then we'll just switch these. So it'll take it out of the barrel and put it into here for the other places that need it. Okay, I like that. That's better. Then we we'll probably get rid of all these. Cool, cool. Still going up, still going up. All right. Uh, so I just checked online because I was curious. How do we do multi crafting? I guess I got to add more coprocessors to the thing. Uh, so let's let's just grab those and try it out. So the one, like I used, I think each of these has at least one, right? But I guess we need more. Let's bump that up. <laughs> Should I bump them all up? I don't know. Because I think if you add more, then it'll use more molecular assemblers. Because it's only using the one, which is a problem. So if we go to make a thousand of these. Let's see if it's any different now. Oh yeah, look, it's using another one. Oh, that's very good. Okay, so we got to add more, more coprocessors. That's the trick to this. Mm, yeah, I don't know. You guys will probably tell me how to do it, right? Because I added a whole ton of coprocessors, and I still can't get it to use more than two of these. And I'm not really sure. It's just those two again. And I've added more 64Ks and stuff, so there's something else to it, right? Uh-huh. Anyways, I'm not going to worry about it today. Um, What was I going to say? Oh yeah, so <laughs> I was so happy because I thought there was a typo in the book here with the whole harvest craft. 10, 10, 10, all magical crop seeds and, and harvest craft seeds. I thought it was supposed to say agricraft because harvest craft seeds, right? Um, turns out you can 10, 10, 10 the harvest craft seeds, so that's what I've been doing here. Um, I, I didn't use these for anything in this pack, I don't think. But they can be 10, 10, 10, so I guess I better do it, right? Right now we're doing Brussels sprouts. 10, 10, 10s. Uh, I added in an imaginary time block here to speed things up. So I can do each seed in about a minute or two, I would say. Which is not bad. So you take that out, add the next one in. We're going to do cabbage. Boop, boop, boop. Come back in a minute or two and it'll be done. So it's not... Super bad, but it's a bit, a bit tedious, right? Um, okay, let's let's do something here. So, we'll, oh, and let's finish up our quests. Kind of scattered brained today. Kappa mode. We made the creative tank. Where is that? Before I forget about it. Energy cell, creative AE, portable tank. Excellent. Uh, so another one of these is to fight the Gaia Guardian. You know, I, I don't know why it does that. When I close the book the first time, it's not checked, but the second time it always is. Kill the Gaia Guardian four times. Any before this does not count. So we're going to grab some Gaia ingots. I guess the reason why it wants us to do this, even though it's kind of pointless to us at this point, is to show off that you can bypass the limiter. Normally, you can only do a certain amount of damage to the, the Gaia Guardian here. Ooh, loud noises. Oh, I hit super secret setting. <laughs> Whoops, just uh, live with it for a second here, guys. But I guess with the sword, we just OTK everybody. Which is pretty cool. Alright, quest complete. Okay, let's get started on this quest here. It says, use Magnacraft to fill a resonant energy cell without the creative energy block. So we got to do it legit. No cheesing it. This is the resonant energy cell we got to fill up. 80 million RF. Uh, we used Magnacraft very little in this pack, actually. It was, it was intended for the early game, but there was, like, alternate ways of doing things. So, I, of course, I don't know Magnacraft. I didn't use it. <laughs> I did what was easier for me, right? So that's what you do. Um, the only thing we really built with it was the windmill here. So I'm going to totally disconnect it here because I think we're actually powering things with the solar panels, not with the windmill. Because it produces so little power. But if we connect it up, let's just see what kind of input we get. It'll start filling this at the very least. 
yeah, that's gonna bit that's gonna take a bit of time, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Well, we got started on the quest. Let's see what other options we have here, because I'm sure there's something better. Uh, mag. How do you spell magnet? Magnet crafts. Okay. So uh, there is a combustion energy engine generates electricity from liquid fuel. Power depends on fuel type. Hmm, that's not what I wanted to see. So the high voltage cables didn't connect to it. The medium voltage cables didn't connect to it. Just the low voltage. So I'm guessing it's not very good. But we'll try it out. So in order to convert from electricity to RF, we need a kinetic generator, which only works at medium voltage. So then we need a converter, a transformer here. Then we connect our low voltage cables to that, and then those can connect to the the engine here, right? Yeah. Good. So this is what it looks like, and I think I grab some gasoline for it. Oh dear. <laughs> How do I give it to it? Uh, take my gift, please. Hmm. Hmm. And we also need a heat sink on this thing too, I think. So we grab one of those. Let's just grab one of these, I guess. Put that on top. And turn it to output. Oh yeah, that works. So you just can't manually place it in. You gotta pump it in somehow. Okay. Heat is only at 25 Celsius, so that's good. We're making we're making the voltage. This thing is not spinning. Did I do that wrong? Oh, now it is. Now it is. Okay, good. And this is still very slow. <laughs> it's a lot better, though. It's way better than the windmill. Look at that. We're at a million already. Just 79 more to go. So I think that might be okay if we can feed it enough gasoline. We could add more of them, too, right? Why not do that? Just add a bunch of them. Okay, I got a barrel full of gas and seven engines. We will extract. Good, so they should all be running now. They're all full, good. So I don't know if, like, this cable's going to overload or anything. I guess we'll see. It's not super fast. So I'm thinking that transformer is getting overloaded. So we're going to add seven of them, one for each engine. And then they convert to medium voltage, and then hopefully medium voltage cable can handle the load. It's still the same. <laughs> hmm. Okay. It's still the same. Okay, so they each have their own kinetic generator now. Their own transformer. Yeah, now it's working. That's definitely faster. Okay, so we have to, like, split it all the way down. <laughs> uh-huh. They each have their own kinetic generator, and now it seems to be running seven times faster. So that's good. This is going to fill up in no time. So, I think today is the day, everybody. We are going to do the Draconic Reactor. No, Etho, don't do it. You're going to blow up your base. No, it's okay. It's all good. Taxis is chief of safety. Surely nothing will go wrong. Surely. If it does, I'll learn something. <laughs> so I'm not going to read this uh, in the video. It's very, very long. Even I had trouble reading it. I just skimmed through it. But I think I got the key, key aspects of what not to do. Hopefully. Look how long that is. That's crazy. We're not we're not going to read that. So according to the book, we need these reactor stabilizers, four of those. We need oh, all my recipes disappeared. Draconic. We need the core. This is the main thing where the reaction actually happens. Oh man. I am not prepared. Okay. Do that. Make one of those. We need flux gates, two of them. Alright, so of course we don't have that. And we can't make it. What's it called? Hardened Flux Duct? Okay, not a problem. Hardened Flux Duct. Excellent. 
Man, I really like this this thing. I use it all the time now. <laughs> it is so much more convenient. Okay. Uh, what was it called? Flux gates? Two of those. Boop. Oh, and one more. Okay, and then we need an energy injector for, I think, putting putting energy into the reactor to boot it up initially. You need 50% or something. I don't know. We'll find out. All right, and I think that's all we need. So let's head over to, uh, whatchamacallit, our reactor location here in the Aether. So these things here, these are not reactors, they're just for storing energy. What we're building now is the actual reactor. Hopefully. Okay, so I'm going to use this tree. Well, that's a really small, small ball there. Oh. Okay, get rid of this, get it out of the way. You know, I have a pick, I should use it. <laughs> okay, so now that we got this here, uh, let's just grab some cobblestone to help us align things. Cobble. So it said, I think in the book, to place the stabilizers. Hey, you out of the way. Um, we can place them up to eight blocks away. If we're, they're within four blocks, they can get destroyed as the reactor gets power. So I think I'll just try six blocks away. And I'm guessing that's backwards, right? All right, I think we got those in the right place. But I noticed when, when we go to click on it here, nothing shows up. There's supposed to be a GUI window, I think. So I read you're supposed to do this. Break it and replace it, and that updates them. Yeah, okay, there we go. So that brings up the, the menu here. Can we click on any of them? Yeah, any of them works. Good, good. So we need to install a couple other things here. The injector, get the energy into the system. How does the placement work? I guess it's which way you're facing, right? Yeah. Okay, so I think that goes f straight up into the, the ball. <laughs> um, and then... Let's see, let's connect some cable up to that. We're gonna want a flux gate on this to limit how much power we send it, because I think it'll take an infinite amount. And likewise with these, they'll pull out. Is it infinite? I don't know. They'll, they'll pull out more than you want though, right? So this is like a control to set the limits. I don't know what we want. No clue. Let's leave it at the default for right now. Um, That'll take energy out. And I guess uh, one of our quests is actually to make a, a f five by five by five vibrant capacitor bank. So I think we'll do that. Can we do it with the diamond wand? Because that would be very convenient. Oh, we can. Look at this. Taxes. <laughs> you always show up, like, at the worst time. He was just waiting for it, too, you know. Okay, good. Good, good. We'll throw some solar panels on top here, just so we get a constant supply of energy in here. Except for at night, of course. And one more. Okay, so is this filling up? It is good. That's one more quest done, guys. Look at that. We're doing quests while doing quests. Okay, so I'm not feeling super confident about this. This isn't going to go well, is it? <laughs> but we're going to try it out. Uh, so I read the explosion size. If something should go wrong, depends on how much fuel you put in. So I'm just going to put one in. I think you can put up to eight or nine blocks in or something. Oh, the ball got bigger. Okay. But we still haven't started this yet, right? Core mass. Okay, so I think we got to turn this thing on. And I think by default it's off. Totally. Kind of thought that would have started it. Okay. Okay. This isn't going well. <laughs> um, so if we look at this thing, is there any other options given to us? I kind of like to just figure things out by looking at them, you know? But rarely does that work in modded. Things aren't quite that intuitive usually. Oh, oh, we got to click this, right? 
Charging, charging. There's no beam there, though. I kind of thought there would be a beam. Containment field is going up. That's good. I think this has to get to 50%. I think this has to go up too, though, doesn't it? And the core temperature? Oh, man, I'm getting scared. I am getting scared. Why? Why don't you do anything? Yeah, I think we're active now. <laughs> kind of thought... Uh... Okay, let's see what happens when it hits 50%, I guess. Now I'm getting scared. None of these bars are moving. Okay. So that's what we want, right? Okay. Okay. It's going up. It's going up. So, what did I do? I don't know. There's still no laser. And the core temperature is now going up. But that hit 50. Oh, now it's going up. Ah. Uh, Woohoo. <laughs> all right. All right. That's good. Things are. Oh, it's spinning. The clouds are coming to check it out, too. Okay. Oh, it's really happening now, guys. Let's crank this up, because... I think the high one's the only one we care about, right? If we have that down. How are you doing? We can activate it. I'm gonna do it. Oh, things are going crazy. Uh... I don't think that's supposed to go that high. I don't know what to do about it, though. <laughs> um, oh, it means I can pull more energy out, right? That's that's what it is. Okay. Crank this up. I think that's the idea. Still at 99. Okay, we got to go higher. Got to go higher, guys. Okay. The good news is it hasn't blown up yet. That's, that's better than I expected. <laughs> Um, so control makes it go up by fives. Maybe you can shift and control? Oh, okay, there we go. Gotta do both at the same time. This is pulling power out, right? Oh yeah, this is full. Oh, snap. Okay, well in that case, maybe we should run power to, to these over here. So it has somewhere to go. Okay, I guess that was all from the solar panels. We're not actually producing any power right now. So let's figure out how to do that. So right now, still at 100%. This is 100%. We're generating zero. Zippo. Nada. wonder if I got this backwards. Like, how do you know? Oh, that's not even connected. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's that's a bit of a giveaway. Oh, snap. I don't like these. It should be very clear like what what direction things go. I know there's arrows on them, but what do they mean? Orange is output, right? But blue is usually input. And it's purple. I don't agree with this. Okay, let's let's just break this cuz it's not doing anything. Um. Oh, it just disappeared. Why is it down here now? Oh, because of these stupid boxes. It's not going to let me place it then, is it? No, because these... Oh my goodness, the stupid... <laughs> I hate this ring! Oh. I, if I click on one of these, if I shift click on one of them, they all get selected and then I don't know which one I clicked on. I, I just gotta get rid of this ring for right now. Cause it's not letting me place this. Okay, now I can place it. Good, good. That connected. And we're not getting any power still. Okay, turn that on. Bump this up. Oh, I better be careful because if this is actually... Oh, it is actually doing stuff now. Okay. Undo, undo, undo. 
Undo, 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 undo. I, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Did you hear that? It was about to blow. Oh man, the containment field went all the way down. If this hits zero, then it blows up. Okay, I gotta be more careful. I gotta be a little bit more careful. Generation's dropping like crazy. Because I shut this off, right? It's a good thing I didn't have the other one set. Yay. So saturation kind of leveled off at 87%, so we can pull more power out. But the containment strength isn't very good, so I think we gotta up upgrade this, give it more power. So the containment's stronger. Yeah, so now the containment's going up. Which means we can pull more power out, right? Okay, now saturation's dropping. Containment is dropping. I think we're kind of stable though, so that's good. If you run at a higher saturation level, you will get less RF per tick, but the efficiency of the reactor will increase. For example, running at 80% saturation, you can get up to twice the total RF output you would get by running at 20% saturation. Okay, so that kind of explains what's going on here. So I'm right now generating 139,000 but we have to supply 55,000, so it's got, it's a balancing game, basically. And it changes as, I think, the fuel gets consumed here, too. But I think the main issue is we only put one ingot in, and we should put a lot more in. Because <laughs> it's, only, it's only giving us, like, uh, about 80 or 90,000 RF per tick, and we have it somewhat reasonably balanced could be optimized a lot better probably but each of these solar panels are like giving us 240,000 so this reactor is not even as good as a solar panel right now which uh, is not not great so when we and I don't think we can add fuel right now we have to maybe if we shut it down but I don't know if that works I'm gonna try it Pro probably a bad idea right No, so it doesn't give us an option to change a fuel. This stays the same. We just have the option to turn it back on. Okay, so we gotta wait for it to get used up. And then we add, like, a whole bunch of blocks to it. I think is the idea. So, yeah, we have very little power stored in here. It's going up very slowly. But it's interesting, right? Um, so, that is one of our quests, and I don't think it's had any constraints like make a good good reactor or anything, it just said make a reactor. <laughs> so, I think I did that. Where is it? Construct the Draconic Evolution Reactor. Check. And 2000? 2000. 2000. So once it goes below 2000, then we can take fuel out, and or take out spent fuel and put in new fuel. Okay, so it just gave us some of that. This went down to zero. We got one tiny chaos fragment as well. Are things okay? It's making funny sounds. Containment field's dropping. That's scaring me. Okay, let's put fuel in. I think I put eight blocks in. I think that's the max, right? Okay, and then we'll start it up. Uh, <laughs> I don't like it when the containment field's at zero. It just freaks me out every time. Uh, we got a big ball now, though. That's good. So I, I think in the book it said if we use up all the fuel, then it's going to explode. So we can't let this hit 100% either. I might be wrong about that. Um, so I'm going to bump this up. Just so we're a little bit safer while making adjustments. We have to keep it constantly supplied with power, but these solar panels are great. They they won't run out. Oh, I didn't hit activate. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. <laughs> no! No! Give me a couple seconds to make adjustments. 
Nope, it's just, it's just gone. Okay, well that was fun. <laughs> uh, I think we'll avoid the Draconic Reactor and find other means of, of power generation. Okay, well that was quite the blast. <laughs> so, uh, that crashed my game right afterwards and it probably desynced the, the audio to this episode. So, probably a good time to wrap up here uh, for today. In the future stick to solar panels they never killed anybody taxes the safety inspector is going to be fired and things will be better in the next episode so thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one take take care bye bye